Welcome back, friends and family. Today, we're going to go over our R Plus Task 3.0 software. We're going into the next step, which is going to be downloading the motion files into our Robotus Mini. Andrew is going to assist us here today. He's going to teach me exactly what I need to know as far as putting the files into our Robotus Mini utilizing the Bluetooth. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks again, Zach, for that introduction. And yeah, I think that was a kind of great summary of what I wanted to go over today and what I think uh, you know, it'll be very interesting for everybody to follow along and learn. Um, basically, how you can use the different uh, Robotus robots with the R Plus Task 3.0 educational software um, to basically download the example motion files that come with uh, a lot of the Robotus educational kits. So today I chose the Robotus Mini because, in my opinion, it's uh, one of our most uh, I mean, in my opinion, it's my favorite robot. That that's honestly the uh, the main reason. But it's also one of our most popular robots that we offer, and it has a lot to offer for uh, you know children of all ages and uh, anybody who's interested in small humanoid robots. Uh, it's very easy to put together using plastic rivets. But uh, one thing to keep in mind is that these instructions will apply for any of the Robotus robots that we do offer. So let's go ahead and open up the R plus task 3.0 software. And I'll go ahead and get my screen shared for you. And just to reiterate one thing that this robot is R plus task software is downloadable for free directly from our website, which is robotist.us. Thank you. Yes, Zach, that is true. Uh, all of our software is free to download and free to use. So yeah, feel free to visit our website, robotus.us, for links to download all of our software. So now you should be able to see my screen here with uh, the R Plus Task 3.0 software's home page. So the next thing we're going to want to do today is connect the robot. Uh, of course, you want to have your robot connected to the computer if you want to download your files. So with the Robotus Mini, uh, the Robotus Mini is actually designed to connect over Bluetooth. And so that means you're going to have to pair your robot's uh, basically Bluetooth connection with your computer. So I'm going to turn on the Robotus Mini with the switch on the back of the robot here. And you can see some lights turned on there. And that blinking blue light is actually the Bluetooth antenna that allows it to connect to the computer. It's called the BT210 Bluetooth module. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look in the back of your robot and confirm the last two numbers that you see written on the BT210. So here I can see that the last two numbers on this Bluetooth module are 85. So I'm not sure if anybody can see there, but there is basically a label on the Bluetooth antenna, and that tells you what the last two numbers are. So before I can connect the robot to the software, I need to first set up that Bluetooth connection on my computer. So in Windows, you can usually set, find your Bluetooth connection set up in the uh, hidden icons usually, or it might just be on the tray in the bottom right corner of your toolbar. Um, so I'm going to open up my Bluetooth device menu. And when you click on the Bluetooth icon, you can actually click Add a Bluetooth device. Let me see if I can share this window. So now you should be able to see my Bluetooth device's uh, screen. And when you're on the screen, you're going to want to select plus for add a Bluetooth device. And you're going to want to select the Bluetooth option for add a device. Now the computer is going to scan for different Bluetooth connections. Again, that's the basically the blinking blue uh, light on the robot. And so now we see here that it can detect that. We see the first option in the Bluetooth uh, connection menu is Robotus 21085. So that tells us it's the Robotus BT210 antenna, and this is the one with the 85. So 85 is the last two numbers in the back of the robot, or on the antenna itself. Let's click on that option, and now let's go ahead and enter a pin. Uh, the pin for these by default is zero, basically quadruple zero, 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 zero. Now let's go ahead and click Connect. All right, looks like it worked, and the computer says your device is ready to go. So now let's click Done, and we can go back to R Plus Task 
on the right. So can you see that shared again, Zach? Yes, that looks great. All right. So now um, I'm sure if you've been, I mean, I'm sure if you've been following along with us, uh, you'll know that the R plus task 3.0 allows you to upload and also create your own task programming uh, programs essentially for the robot to use, uh, you know, with uh, different robotics kits and controllers. Uh, however, one thing that we haven't gone into as much is essentially the custom motion programming aspect of the software. So the when you uh, open up the software, you're going to be at the home page, which is this. And then you have other tabs here along the top of the software. The tabs you're going to be using for motions are the third or fourth tab here, motion unit, and the fifth tab motion, and the sixth tab download motion. Uh, you can also navigate to that section by choosing the motion examples box right here on the home page. So I'm going to click motion examples. And now it's going to give me a list of the robots that you can see example motion files for. And today we're using the Robotus Mini. So I'm going to go ahead and select Robotus Mini. So now it's going to ask you to select the example file you want to look at. Uh, for the Mini, we have uh, multiple different files in different languages. So we have English, Korean, Chinese, and Italian. So I'm going to select English. All right, so here we can see now we have the 3D robot, uh, which is the Robotus Mini on our screen. And we have a full diagram of all of the different joints that the robot has, along with the ID numbers of the servos that are in those joints. The cool thing here on this page is that you can start to do things where you edit your robot with custom motions. You can click on a joint and then use this wheel on the side here to move that joint. Or you can do really cool things where you can move your robot and then update the robot's pose that you have here onto the software screen. But we're going to go more into those, I think, on a later date. So let's go ahead and start uh, downloading our example files here by connecting the robot. So we're going to click on the, just so you can see again, uh, I'm going to navigate to the bottom left corner of the software and click on this icon here that says connect. No, I missed it. Let's try that again, connect. And now you're going to want to uh, choose the serial port that you're currently using with your robot. So normally I, uh, I would expect most people won't have this many serial ports open. I have a lot of Bluetooth connections on my computer. So um, if you have a lot of different Bluetooth connections on your computer and you're not sure which one to use, you can also use auto connect and the software will try and scan for the best connection. So I'm going to try the auto connect first. And depending on how far the computer is, it may take longer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select the serial port that I think it is, and I'm going to click connect. All right, so that worked and we can see the robot is connected now. So the, the blue icon there means that your robot's connected to the software. So now the cool thing is that um, if you move the robot here, you can actually use some parts of the software to update that pose onto your screen. So just as an example, I'm going to click torque off so I can move my robot. And then you can update the pose. So using this, you can actually use these two buttons to essentially make your robot match the same pose on the screen or make the robot on the screen match your robot's pose. But like I said, we'll go ahead and go in more into those in our next video. So if we're downloading the example files for these robots. Uh, what we're actually going to want to do then is go to our next tab after we've connected here and 
you can see this is the next tab where this is actually motions. So the first tab, it might be hard to distinguish between motion unit, which is this tab, the, fir, uh, the, the fourth tab, and motions, which is the fifth tab. So what a motion unit is, is the basic building blocks of what a motion can be made out of. So each of these more complex motions, like a set of push-ups, is a can be thought of as a number of motions. So if you're doing a push-up yourself, the first thing you would think of is you have to push down against the ground to lift your body up. The second thing you think is that you need to let your body back down to the ground. So each of these steps is essentially linked together in the next tab to create more complex motions. To download the example motions, we're going to go to the final tab, which is appropriately labeled download motion. Uh, if we want to download just the default example programs, all we needed to do is essentially select the robot on this screen, connect, and then go to the download motion tab. So now we can see that we have the motion group list, and this is named the default group. This is highlighted right now, so you can see that these motions are the contents of the default group of motions. If you want to change motions or if you want to add different motions in, you can actually use um, uh, basically the edit motion group button to select motions to either uh, remove or add in using these buttons, add motion or remove motion. So for example, I added in an extra Greek motion. If I wanted to remove it, I can click there and it removes it. If I wanted to remove the sit motion, you can do that too. And now the robot will not have a motion for sit. So this is mostly used when you want to add in additional motions that you've created. So now let's go ahead and continue with the download. All we need to do here is confirm that you have the motion group that you want selected and that you have the motions you're looking to use. And then you can select download motion group. Uh, do be careful and make sure that you are connected using the uh, tool in the bottom left corner of the screen. Otherwise the download motion obviously won't work. All right, so now we do have those motions downloaded successfully. And that is basically how you download the default example motions for the Robotus Mini. Please let us know if you have any other questions or if anything in the video here was unclear and we'll be happy to go ahead and uh, you know help you out. Uh, thank you again for joining us on the Robotus YouTube channel. And um, yeah, Zach, is there anything else you wanted to add? Wonderful, Andrew. Thank you so much for going over this with us. and. Uh... It definitely gave me a better understanding on how to actually utilize the motion software that's incorporated in our R plus task. Um, definitely, like Andrew mentioned, we um, if you guys have any questions or if something's not clear in the uh, in the video, please put a comment below or email us at America at robotus .com, And we'd be more than happy to uh, respond to your or answer your questions that you might have. Or if you guys need any more information, definitely let us know. Or if you're looking to purchase this bad guy right here, Definitely, you can make the purchase from robotus.us, or you can email us and we can give you more information on there. Again, the email is america at robotus.com, and our website is robotus.us. Thank you, guys, and have a great rest of your day.